Hello everyone, Beata here and welcome back to season two of Fibers and Fabrics. Today we are looking at what is organic clothing? know it from the grocery store but these days increasingly and very happily I could say we can see more and more organic clothing in department stores and some of the well-known brands that we love. Organic fabrics have been produced or cultivated without the chemical intervention of pesticides, fertilizers or any other artificial chemicals. Be on the lookout for certifications such as the Global Organic Textile Standard GOTS stamp of approval on clothing and small little labels on the inside, maybe the back of your clothing or where they talk about what type of textile is. It's usually on the side of each garment. So why is organic clothing important? Why should we focus on this? The chemicals is designed to kill all of the small little bugs on the plants in order to get a higher yielding crop. But unfortunately, it doesn't only kill the small little bugs that eat away on plants, it kills a lot of other things around it as well. And all of the micro um, bacteria and nutrients in the ground, it leaves the soil completely depleted. Furthermore, the farmers and the farm workers working in these fields get exposed to these chemicals themselves. These toxins are harmful for the farmers and the workers as well as the consumers and the entire wildlife ecosystem. And because farmers are desperate to get more yield out of their crop, they are forced sometimes even to use these things, although they know it's bad for their health and bad for the workers in the area, as well as the families even living in the area of this. Unfortunately, the pesticides kills more than just the bugs and kills the microorganisms in the soil, leaving it completely depleted. It also goes into the water supply that influences the community surrounding these farms, as well as the farmer and the farm workers. In order to get the GOTS um, stamp of approval, it costs a lot of money. It's a huge audit that needs to take place and a lot of manufacturers can't necessarily afford that. I know, for example, in South Africa, the very first mill that now got the GOTA stamp of approval had to work very hard at it for many, many months. They described the entire auditing process as an investment into their future, and rightfully so, it is an investment. With all of the effort going into producing organic textiles, it will definitely cost a little bit more. But you as consumer can definitely know that it is a better, higher quality product with more care that went into it. And it definitely did not harm the farmer, the workers, the surrounding area, or then our planet, of course. If you would like to learn more, I'll have some links down below, two of them being documentaries and the third being a podcast. And one of the documentaries focus on the textile industry as well as the uh, podcast is also focused specifically on creating a brand around organically grown textiles. I hope that your next purchase will be an organic item. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope to have you back soon. Cheers everyone.